Okay. This is the fourth time I have done this intro and apologizing for what has happened because I have already recorded about 14 minutes of this reaction. So what we're going to do today is that we're going to go back to the beginning. And we're going to get up to the point where I was in the episode. In between that time, so I'm not wasting time, I'm going to yap a little bit about what I enjoyed about the 14 minutes that I did get to see. And then after that, I can re uh, react normally to what has happened. All right. First off, before we begin this intro, I very much enjoy that this series is keeping up with the aesthetic of, I guess, Fallout 4, because a lot of the early Fallout games are very different from that game. Plus, having this song automatically makes me a big fan. When I tell you me and Jason listen to this song on repeat constantly, um, I love that it's keeping up the aesthetic of this Art Deco, very 60s, 70s look, especially with the technology, while also still having the futuristic tech in the background. Not really having it pronounced though. Los Angeles sunshine coming through. Ow, I can't. I can't, I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. Only happy thoughts I'm not, today. Sugar bombs. <laughs> Sugar bombs. Sorry, I'm now noticing. Well, back when I was in the Marines, they no, it's it. it's exclusive to Fallout Four. I, yeah, okay. I was hoping I wasn't like tripping right now. It's smaller than you found. Now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than your son? They told us not to bother on it. Do you think it's gonna happen? I certainly hope not. But us cow folks, we take it as it comes, right? All right, one piece of cake coming up from my favorite cowgirl. This little girl, by the way, is he acting her ass off. Like, that's fear right there. I don't know what they put in front of her. And I love you don't see it outright. Like, you're only seeing it from the, like, the perspective of the window the entire time. How effective were personal fallout shelters? That is a very great shot. There's a lot of great shots just from this alone. It makes me immediately excited. Like, that's a fantastic intro. And I think it actually accentuates, like, the fear and anxiety in that short amount of time way better than, like, Fallout 4. My name is Lucy McLean, and I'm an active contributor to the well being of my community. Here, obviously, we're going through all the perk stats that you can do in the game. I find this a very unique and creative way to present that concept without having to, like, show you the page, which I hope we do see the page, the perk page soon. My reproductive organs are intact, yet I have been unable to find a suitable marriage partner, at least one I'm not related to, and we have rules about that for a reason. I am still, like, does that mean she has committed incest before or not? I'm confused. And the show doesn't elaborate any more than this, and it's pissing me off. This is, that, it's not the first time they mention it. Oh, I'm mentally gross, and I did not catch that. After 10 years of cousin stuff, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. Together. What do you mean by cousin stuff? They keep saying this. 10 years of cousin stuff? I think it's making me concerned. I fucked up and paused. Uh, I I thought I was playing the show from my laptop, so I pressed pause and stopped recording. And then I realized I'm on my Xbox and I had to press the button. Okay, pause right here because I really want to give a shout out to these specific VFX artists. Because <laughs> I'm noticing it now. I am the first recording I did. I said I wonder how much of this was actually the set or CGI uh, extensions, and I really want to give out a big appreciation for those. 
not only because like that's just it, VFX in general is just a hard job because even I I missed out on, like a week of After Effects class and I have I still have no idea how to use it and I I feel like it's such a daunting task to learn. But my teacher in school worked on a lot of shows when um when it comes to visually extending sets and I think that's just such a um an underrated uh, there's a lot of like underrated jobs in film right now but I feel like that specifically when you don't notice it is such an underrated job of vi uh, like visual effects artists and editors in general and I th just really wanted to throw that shout out just to give a reason to, to just mention that my teacher was really cool and I, I'm like really like impressed with this work but also just really wanted that to be said out loud because I don't think it's said enough or at all in general correct me if I'm wrong from what I'm, I'm understanding is that you can our the husband could be anybody can you be with your cousin in the vault all right besides the point do they just choose people yearly or like semi semi-annually like to trade to different bolts for marriage is my question Jet. honestly textbook tumblr jam it's gonna take some time to fix probably best if we reschedule with the 32s until maintenance and i can Jet. what's going on We all know that, Jet. Messing around <laughs> with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but it's not a sustainable long-term sexual practice, you know? Now you're saying long-term sexual practice. What were y'all doing short-term is my question. That's not what you're elaborating on. It's pissing me off. It's making me nervous. Welcome neighbors from Vault 32. I am Hank McLean, overseer of Vault 33. As arranged, we offer you seed and parts for machinery. In exchange, we offer you a brooder. So, <laughs> who am I marrying? <laughs> I'm Lucy. Do you have a name? Monty. Lucky. <laughs> it's really interesting that they chose this route like arranged marriage like the world will go back to that ultimately so what's your sperm count bruh your vaults doctor must check every physical no and sperm is pretty important in perpetuating america <laughs> so. sperm count at the table is welcome. crazy we don't know much about what's up there desperation violence lawlessness this is giving red wedding vibes right now, and I have no idea why, but it's fucking with me. I don't like this. I don't know why. But I'm scared. Show me to my new home. Oh, he's living here. See? What wedding shit? He feels it. Oh, isn't it great? Every big moment of our lives is gonna happen right here. We have everything with the hand-me-downs, an icebox, a blender. They, they even gave us... Huh. Okie dokie. Just keep that coffee hot. I'm just intrigued on what this man's plan is. What is this vault's plan in general? Also, never seen uh, Fallout as like a sexual game, so I'm like, very surprised that they went that far. Bro, don't see something you don't want to see. Don't do that to yourself. No. Well, you know what? This is much worse. <laughs> Frankly, I would have rather you <laughs> walked in on your sister because this is going to get you killed. Oh, he has scars. Yo, he has a fuck ton of them. No foreplay is insane to me. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. That's... Hold, yo, hold on. <coughs> Fuck, I'm gonna choke. That's cra... <laughs> yo, that's the creepiest shit I've ever seen. I'm sorry. That's the most disrespectful shit I have ever seen in a show or movie. 
in any piece of media, really. He. <laughs> you what are you? <coughs> Fuck. A the fuck yo. I knew I was thinking about the right shit. Do you know what would have been easier? Radi radiated like a mother. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yo, he is. Ooh, yeah, hell yeah. Yo, he's spamming the fuck out of this move. No. Mm, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, Lucy, what you do now is the same thing I do, and you cut every limb off this motherfucker's body. I know you're not about to use video game logic right now. Cool, we're using video game logic. Let's fucking go. You know what? I respect it. Because a lot of shows would have been scared to do that. A trank? Are you serious? Bitch! That <laughs> I'm really like in love with how they're doing the violence here. I'm still mad that she's using this goofy ass trank. If you don't fucking Oh, we're really <laughs> loving the violence and gore right now. <laughs> this is so good. It's like sad, but it's like it's having joy what was happening. That's oh my god! I can't fucking believe what I'm seeing. Nah, you gotta kill that motherfucker for that disrespectful shit he did earlier. I'm not even gonna lie to you. A bomb? You're gonna blow up the one place with sustainable shit? I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who I am. You know, fuck it, blow this bitch up. See what happens. You're not gonna have food. You are my world. look like your mother. What? You should see it sometime. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Hold on, you got me locked in. Yo, this show is going fucking crazy right now. Look, I would love to meet the rest of these characters. But holy fuck, come on! <laughs> it is the duty of the Brotherhood of Steel to secure the wasteland. One day, as squires, you will help knights find and identify pre war tech. Aspirin Maximus, can you identify this relic? Uh, Rotor? Damn! You are more useful as a corpse. Nah, we're gonna have a fight after that. No niggas about to hit me in the face with a fucking ruler. They did these shots really well. I'm gonna just shout out the VFX team the entire fucking video. I really like the look of the suit. I'm just, I wanna see it up close. Every time I look at you, I again. 
This looks like it'll get someone hurt. What the fuck? I'm not knocking it, because realistically, yes, that would happen, but holy shit. What's going on? A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. That's gross. I feel for you, but it's fucking gross, my guy. The fuck? Oh, shit. Don't tell me he did that shit. Don't, I will. <laughs> no. Half of y'all, like, fucking government is dead. I have a proposal for the assembly. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. If they did, they wouldn't get to be in charge. Hmm. Succession level thinking right here. I just tracked him. Not the same to you if you try to follow me. I'm too chicken. Thanks. Oh. I hope we cut back to the vault at least every once in a while to check on how they're doing. Mostly because, bringing him home. from my perspective of only like of extensively playing four, the vault is already like abandoned before you leave but in fallout 3 it still is kind of like populated whoa i hope dog meat is just immediately here is dog meat in the show I feel like I remember him being in the teaser. Okay. I really hope it's not revealed that he fucked her shit up. Or their shit up. His shit up. Fuck. <laughs> I hope they appear. I understand you're a friend of Aspirin Dayton. Yes. You're aware of their injury? Yes. Do you know who did it? No. Come on. That pause had to be, like, suspicious. Your fellow Aspirin say it was you. No, I... 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 I, I wouldn't... You sound like Porky Pig right now. You better, better have an answer. Speak. I... Ooh. I, I, did, I did not. I... Oh, fuck. Are you? Who fucking directed this episode? Because they're fucking killing it. Weak. I, I want to thank you. If I can help the Brotherhood make it better, even if it means giving my own life, I'll do it. He locked the fuck in. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. When you will be Knight Titus, new squire. I want this episode to end because I really want to talk about the, the scene that just happened. Like, Not I can't. I, it was it unbelievable. Mm. Dog meat! Oh, I love how much weight they have. Is that it? No, there's more. Fuck. I, I want to geek out about the show so bad. It's fucking with me. <laughs> it doesn't look feral to me, I'm be honest. Ghoulish, yes. Well, well, well. Why, this is an Amish production of the Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> Just the weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. <laughs> oh, well, Goggins is having the most fun. We uh, we got a proposition for you. A bounty came down, a huge one, enough to be a last score for me and whoever's with me. Well, that don't sound like gratitude, do it, boys. 
How about we put you right back in that hole so Don Pedro can have his fun with you for the next 30 years? Well, I tell you what, boys. Whenever somebody says they're doing one last job, that usually means their heart's not in it. Probably never was. But for me, well, I do this shit for the love of the game. <laughs> Hell fucking yes. I only want to see Lucy in this character for the rest of the series. You've impressed me enough. Maximus, I love you. You already started off giving me a really good sense of, like, intensity. But this shit right here, he's standing on fucking business. That is the hardest fucking lot. I do this for the love of the game. This right here was your last job. My paycheck wasn't quite what you expected, but, well, you know what they say. Us cowpokes. <sighs> we take it as it comes. And we flipped the line from earlier that he said to his daughter. Oh my fucking God. Jonathan Nolan? Yo, those Nolan brothers are going crazy, bro. Holy fucking shit. That was a phenomenal first episode. Oh my god. As first episodes come, that was great. Especially with the fact that it's going through three different storylines and was able to make me really engage with each and every single one of them. And to even get me on top of the ghoul... In like 10 minutes? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I have a lot of excitement right now, and I gotta like revert right now. I gotta I gotta come back. I gotta come back down. Alright. Alright. So the beginning of the episode, I recorded my reaction for that already. So it's really unfortunate that I gotta like try to reiterate what I really love about it. I love the intro because it's so short, but it articulates and understands kind of the fear-mongering of nuclear war during the time of like the beginning prologues of the like at least fallout 4 that has that intro when you're kind of like running through the neighborhood it already understood kind of the art deco 60s vibe that you're going to be seeing in a lot of the atmosphere in the wasteland so i i'm really excited to see that in this version of the world now going over to walton goggins who definitely get you see him playing two types of characters here he's, he's playing this father who's gone through a lot what seems to be in his marine career and trying to take care of his daughter and apparently has like a reputation in the neighborhood that he's in uh i guess being a celebrity of some sort or probably just like the most known like veteran in the area so I wonder, I wonder if he'll dig deeper into that relationship. I hope to see more of what happened. Obviously, you don't see his daughter here, but I hope to see the immediate aftermath of how the, the bombs dropping affected those two or like what was the immediate situation with um, his relationship with his daughter. Transferring over to Lucy, I really loved that they caught on to, I, I guess, the more recent <laughs> depictions of how the vaults are, but this very joyous very <laughs> very subtle cynicism when it comes to like we're in this vault we have created this life for ourselves for generations for over 200 years and we kind of like we have optimism but you could tell that like it's only because of like this is how people have been raised up until this point um getting a sense of understanding how they populate how they go about romance how they live uh whether they trade out people <laughs> I kind of like I'm glad that we got to like understand at least two successful versions of that with the dad and her friend pregnant friend but I'm very much intrigued about what vault life will look like in the future as the show goes on and I really hope that we get to cut back to them because I think that's really interesting to see the deterioration of a, a political standpoint obviously we're gonna have to focus on the ghoul Maximus and Lucy separately 
but I really hope that we get to cut back to them, it, not like every episode, but at least like every other episode to just get like a sense of how much has fallen or at least by the end of the like, end of the season, get to check back in with them. I, I'm really intrigued about how that political uh, bubble is going to burst. Maximus, I'm interested in more so in a sense of with the Brotherhood of Steel, you kind of meet them, at least for like Fallout 4. I'm going off of a lot of my knowledge of Fallout 4 since that was the more recent one that I got to play. Um, you kind of meet, and like for me personally, I kind of like saw their ideals and I was like, I don't fuck with this. So I'm, I'm glad that we get to see a deeper understanding of how the hierarchies of squires and knights and obviously these elders work. And, and I hope that affects more of his journey as we go on. I, I, re- I really wanted to talk about this scene, but the show just kept going. But the scene with his interrogation, I think is probably one of the best scenes in any of these video game adaptions. Purely out of the fact that it was very creative with understanding the intimidation of the, the power suit and the knights in general, having them walk in this very pensive sound of their footsteps very much adding to that like the intimidation aspect of it and even the actor fuck i didn't even like get to really read out his name he acted the shit out of that scene. i feel like everyone fucking killed it this the, the, like this entire episode like immensely but definitely the two standouts is maximus and the ghoul <laughs> at least for this episode um because you could just see the pain and like the understanding of the situation and trying to find a way to flip it as much as possible to the point that I still like, I'm still kind of like if you know, if he actually sabotaged that or not. And now I really hope that we get to dig deeper into his mental psyche, just like as a soldier, or at least his backstory, understanding why he wants to be this knight or who does he necessarily want to hurt, which I think will probably be like the mutants. Cause if I remember correctly, the Brotherhood of Steel kind of beef with the mutants like a fuck ton. And I just want to see how they handled that relationship altogether. But I guess like if they're hunting down only two people, including I guess including dog meat, I, I kind of want to see how that is going to play into Lucy's story. Cause so far, Lucy doesn't really have like an immediate goal except for like finding her father, of course, and like the mystery of her mother. Um, going into the Red Wedding s- sequence, I like the fact that it didn't go all out on it, if that makes sense. Like, Red Wedding, like, you take out, like, their goal was to take out that bloodline, like, completely. And to a certain degree, they succeed. Like, they take over that, I think, I believe, I never, <laughs> I've never finished Game of Thrones, but as my understanding, they take over that castle, um, or at least that area of, um, Westeros. For this, I was kind of concerned. I was trying to understand what was happening here. I thought the Raiders were trying to, like, take over the vault in general, which I thought would have been the smart option, but I guess not. Fuck me, I guess. Um, But I like that they kept a few people alive, and now you have created this mystery around her mother who you get to see. But nah, now I'm like, in, like with that reveal alone, I'm like, oh, what, what, what does that mean? What is this going to mean for Lucy? What did her dad have to do? Does did these vault dwellers take over this area like the raiders did and they're just kind of like frauds <laughs> like what is the story here and I, I hope we get to uncover that more and more and we don't just like forget about it or it'll pop up into it like every couple episodes like i really want to understand what the raiders and the vault dwellers have in terms of like a relationship and besides like violence i like i'm really intrigued I, I, i'm like Ah, like thinking about it now. What else? I love that this isn't afraid to be video gamey. I th- like what I mean by it is like The Last of Us can be very realistic, but like most of its game references or how the game operates is kind of like hidden within the show or just like little show things that just it's gonna happen. Like how um, the enemies kind of speak to each other while they're trying to flank you. For this, I love that immediately she grabs the med kit and she stabs herself and then she um she douses herself and she's just healed almost like instantly until she's like fully stitched up um i love that the pit boy does so much i love that it's still very 
it's still very whimsy with its violence because you can kind of see the same thing with the the fourth game and i love its continuous love for the music of the eras that it's taking from and especially like bringing over music from um the games as well which is something that you would like assume that you would kind of have to do like since you already have that playlist set just bring it on over it, re it really adds to some i think the the thing that i've watched on this channel before don't worry really darling does the exact same thing with 60s and 70s music but i feel like i respect it here more because it it doesn't feel like it's using it as a crutch more so to set the tone for the general scene whereas like don't worry darling reminds me so much of like suicide squad where it's just like song after song after song and it's not adding anything to any any one character or any one setting that they're in it's just there because a this is the 50s and 60s and 70s and this is the music that played and here you go playing it for whatever geriatric is going to recognize this a very solid amazing first episode i think it, it jonathan nolan brother christopher nolan does a very great job at directing this in understanding the tone and i and i really hope that he um directs every episode after this because just out of it oh, man the other thing i appreciated oh my fucking god this came to me just now okay is just how different this show looks from every other show that's on Amazon Prime currently, as well as every video game adaption that we have gotten so far. So I feel like it would have been so easy to have this very naturalistic look like The Last of Us has, where it has the very much full screen um, HBO look. Then even HBO shows look very different from time to time. Whereas this, this is taking a more cinematic approach um, while also having a visual flair that I can't really put my finger on describing at the moment, but I think <laughs> very much helps the show still have a, a, like a sense of wonder to it while also feeling cruel and brutal and having fun with its violence at the same time. Like it's not, it's not contradicting each other or fucking with each other in any way. Like it still flows as a story and as, um, as a series so far, while not looking overly produced or um, overly low budget, is it's it's right in the pocket. It's right in the pocket where it needs to be, and I hope to see it evolve more so than upgrade. If that makes sense. Um, honestly, is just like a review of this episode. I think this is the only episode I'll be watching today. This is really good. I'm in like I am hooked, and I <laughs> and I'm like of half a mind to just watch the rest of the season right now after recording this but i'm i'm really happy at how this turned out like i'm not like i've never committed to finishing a fallout game but this might bring me back exactly how like the witcher show brought me back to playing the witcher 3 and finishing that like ah <laughs> like i keep looking at the episodes and the episode titles and it just makes me like so excited for this series if you guys want to see more please like and subscribe and share and jesus christ and tell me how you guys like the episode or what you guys think is going to happen next or whatever else like I, I haven't been this excited i was scared because i thought i wasn't going to like this at all or i was going to have more issues with it than um anything else because we, we've already gone through don't worry darling and why i do love succession i didn't get to finish that on the on the channel and not only that but uh, I had a Five Nights at Freddy's reaction that I had that I just didn't get to post. Just, I keep yapping right now, but just I'm glad to watch something that I really enjoy that I really want to keep watching. Um, I think I'm going to save reviewing the whole series, obviously, till the end until I finished it. But as for this episode, if this is just the only thing that we're getting and this was like a short film, fucking phenomenal work, Jonathan Nolan and team. Like every single person fucking killed it and fired on every cylinder to get me hooked. And now, shit, I'm thinking about showing this show to Lex. <laughs> like, fuck. But I gotta finish first, and it's, ah! Fuck. Ah! Okay. Again, if you guys like the video, um, and want to see more, obviously, like, subscribe, share, continue um, supporting the channel as much as possible. I love doing these, and I love um, being more personable and getting to nerd out about film and TV in general and, and review these alongside y'all i hope this becomes a bigger thing that i get to do consistently because i've now hit like the motivation to create content again 
and here this has made me even more motivated to continue like at first i wasn't going to come back and re-record this reaction but i'm so glad that i got to because now i want to finish the series um yeah that'll be all i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of you guys' like day and night and i uh, see you guys later i go dummy i might crash when a nigga want my money now come from rags now a nigga ain't no mummy now bank account with lag now i'm back with a hundred rounds ain't gonna dumb it down i could have gone to cambridge it don't speak my ain't gonna dumb it down i should have gone to cambridge it don't speak my ain't gonna dumb it down why didn't i go to cambridge it don't speak my ain't gonna dumb it down i might just go to cambridge it don't speak my name i'm at cambridge